Mizuki. The freedom fighters were a delusion. That can't be, though. Yes, it can. This is how it is. How what is? What the hell are you even talking about? This is how it is. Explain this to me! Where did those three go? They didn't go anywhere. They never even were. That's impossible, though. I've been spending every single day with them. We laughed together when we were happy, and comforted each other when times were rough. We fought together for everlasting peace in Akihabara. But now they're gone. Boss, Akari, and Aoi are all gone. Done. They were just delusions given shape. If it were possible to see them again, you know I'd be there right alongside you. I didn't hate them, you know that! So why? Tell me. If I wanted to see them again, where would I have to go? Tell me, please. I, I don't... This is a lost cause. Leave it alone for now. But... Look. Just leave it. <laughs> I have something I need to discuss with you all, but not here. Come with me. Mizuki. This place is awfully clean, isn't it? Of course. It was a delusion from the start, remember? Not a hideout. That's right, Reiji. And you and your companions here destroyed it. You! That was quite a production you put on. You're the last person in the world I wanted to see right now. Love you too. I sent in so many agents, but not a one remains. Which might be a sign that I should take off the kid gloves. Now is not the time to mess with us. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Why would I want to fight you anyway? I should be thanking you. Then go home and write us a letter. Come on, Gramps. Don't blow a gasket. This was all your doing, after all. Or do you not remember? Every last bit of it. All those people playing... Freedom Fighters, was it? Well, there's freedom and death. Seriously. Leave now. Did you get to have a teary farewell with your friends at least? Maybe one final group hug? Don't you dare make light of this! Say now, aren't you a little old to be playing with imaginary friends? I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> this is priceless! <sighs> I can't take it! It's too good! We're not laughing! But why not? This is hilarious! Shut the hell up! Do my ears deceive me? Is cool as a cucumber Reiji Shinomiya getting feisty? Or maybe you're not so cool. Maybe you're the only one who would get so hot-headed over something so paltry. What is reality? And what is fantasy? Perhaps we need to change the way we talk about these things. Like, who is reality? And who is fantasy? You've been searching for the answer to that for a while, no? My oh my, if looks could kill, I'd be bleeding out right now. Well, you did help me finish my work, so I suppose I can let you go home today. Yay team, you have my most heartfelt thanks for nullifying that meddlesome delusion. Expect a thank you card in your mailbox. Don't get drowned in delusion while I'm gone. Ta-ta for now. What the hell is his problem? He makes me want to puke. Who is real? And who's fantasy, huh? Asahi? Hey, Reiji. That's the key, isn't it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'll tell you everything. You've learned much of it the hard way already. It's time you learn the true horror of delusion. The true horror? Let's talk about it at Violent Eden. We shouldn't run into any other nasty surprises over there. A safe 
point. We'll remember to save often in games like this. It's a clothing store. Shall we try on a few outfits? Shall we upgrade our PPs? Hello. Usual, on the rocks. Mm. Rough day, I take it? If it weren't, I wouldn't be drinking. It shows. You haven't looked like this since way back when. And I'm not talking about when you were researching delusions, but just before you started running from them. Okay, Reiji. I think it's time you told us the whole story. What is the true horror of delusion? What's real and what's fantasy? Or who's real? And whose fantasy? That's pretty much it in a nutshell. The Freedom Fighters. Yeah, they're pretty much a textbook example. You saw them right before your eyes. They were there. They were real. You spent time with them. Lots of time. But the places you spend time with them at could just be delusions too. Even friends and family aren't safe from the threat of being mere fiction. Hell, even the spot you're standing on right now could just be all in your head for all you know. Am I even real? Or did somebody dream me up? Once you lose the ability to distinguish what's reality and what's delusion, you've basically lost everything. That's the true horror of delusions. The thing every last one of us should be terrified of. That's terrible. Even knowing the risks, there's still one thing I need to find out. One reason I keep getting involved. I need to know if the love of my life and the time we spent together is real or just another delusion. So that's what you meant when you said you hadn't found what you were looking for, even though you found the person. An ex-girlfriend. I totally called it. So what brought a former DAB scum like you out from under your rock and into the light? I ran. I just ran. 
We'd reached a point where our research was making it virtually impossible to tell what was real at all anymore. Everything I did there might have been a delusion. The people, the environment, even me. It made me doubt my own life. My breaking point was when I couldn't figure out if the person I loved was real or not. It scared the hell out of me. So I just... ran. But this isn't something that'll go away if you keep your nose clean. You understand your friend's pain, right, Asahi? Mizuki lost some of his closest friends. Friends he cared about. Who it turns out never existed in the first place. You do get it then. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. What I needed you all to understand. It's a lot to take in. It is. And that's why I want you all to return to your normal lives as soon as possible. Delusions are like a sickness. The best thing I can tell you now is to seek the protection of the Bureau. Are you kidding me? It's for your own good. You need to wake up from any delusions before you do something that you can't undo. What are you saying? <sighs> What's your plan then, Reiji? Until I find my answer, I guess I'll just keep running. Running from this crazy existence we're stuck in. The true horror of delusions? Please. You, uh, good, Yamato? Ooh, save me from the big, scary delusions! You plan on just running away from them for the rest of your life? That's not how an adult should act! Now listen here, you punk. That's what adults are. That's what we do. We're beings who run. The hell? We avert our eyes from inconvenient truths and chase blindly after what we want most. Adulthood in a nutshell. That's pathetic. You can't live in your stupid little fantasy dream world forever, damn it! Ray Ray, please control your temper. What? Any of you think you've got it figured out? By all means, tell me. How the hell do I get out of this? How do I escape this damned loop where everything's probably a delusion anyway? Ray Ray, enough! Enough is right. I've had enough. I just need to give up. Give up and go back to them. Just bow my head real low and meekly ask them to make me a normal person again. But then I'll never find my answer. <sighs> you all need to go home now. And never show any of your faces near me ever again. Looks like we're not wanted anymore. The hell was his problem anyway? Delusions don't scare me. I understand where he's coming from, though. What Reiji said makes sense, and it is pretty scary to think about. Up until now, I'd never really thought about what was real and what was delusion, or... who. Everything around us could be a delusion. Even Akihabara? Even a mouthy baby named Yamato Hongo. I could be a delusion. With the Freedom Fighters? We just didn't know. Or, I guess we didn't notice. But with the ways delusions have been encroaching on reality, it only makes sense to have some doubts. I mean, we've been stuck in this delusory Sunday for so long, we've lost sight of what's important to us. And the delusions keep spreading because they're part of a bigger delusion. Wouldn't it make sense for the repeating Sunday to be part of a delusion too? Then there's the man in pink, who's probably some sort of living delusion. What if the DAB is a delusion, too? We've already reached the point where we can't tell the difference between reality and fantasy, haven't we? <sighs> <sighs> so what can we do in a world of lies? <sighs> Screw it. Asahi, no! Are you saying we just go back to our daily lives and pretend none of this ever happened? I won't capitulate to those Bureau bastards even in death, I'll tell you that much. So, how screwed are we, oh fearless leader? I, uh, meant screw it. Let's just go home for the night. Huh? Don't scare me like that, jeez! It's late, guys, and we've had one heck of a day. I think all of us could do with a rest right now. And maybe a bath. But while you rest, I want each of you to think long and hard about what you should do from here on out. What do you mean? Whether to wake from this delusion and go back to our everyday lives, or keep fighting.
Home is where the bed is. You spend time with them, lots of time. But the places you spend time with them at could just be delusions too. Even friends and family aren't safe from the threat of being mere fiction. Hell, even the spot you're standing on right now could just be all in your head for all you know. Am I even real? Or did somebody dream me up? Once you lose the ability to distinguish what's reality and what's delusion, you've basically lost everything. That's the true horror of delusions. The thing every last one of us should be terrified of. <laughs> how what is? What the hell are you even talking about? This is how it is. Explain this to me. Where did those three go? They didn't go anywhere. They never even were. That's impossible, though. I've been spending every single day with them. We laughed together when we were happy, and comforted each other when times were rough. We fought together for everlasting peace in Akihabara. But now they're gone. Voss, Akari, and Aoi are all gone. Done. They were just delusions given shape. If it were possible to see them again, you know I'd be there right alongside you. I didn't hate them, you know that! So why? Tell me, if I wanted to see them again, where would I have to go? Tell me, please. I don't... What really are delusions? What are they? I just don't get it. What am I supposed to do? I wonder if anyone else has reached an answer. The first one here, I'm afraid. A first for you, I'm sure. I see. By the by, Asahi, you wouldn't happen to know where Ray Ray got off to, would you? Me? You don't, then. As I figured. What happened? I believe it was around two in the morning. I took my eyes off him for just a moment and he disappeared. He left money for his tab, but then vanished on me. He's not answering his phone, either. Was he okay to leave? I mean, if he was drunk, he could be in real trouble. That's one of my many concerns. His face yesterday looked the same as it did that fateful day. Which day? Three years ago. I swear he had this look in his eyes that made me think I would never see that man again. Three years ago was the day before he fled the DAB. It was the look of a man terrified to his core. All because of the delusions he'd seen. Watching the freedom fighters vanish before his eyes must have triggered that same fear from deep within. Ray Ray has been afraid of the delusions for a long time. Much more afraid than any of you ever were. Tell me about him. Mm. I will. But only if you promise not to tell Ray Ray I spill the beans. Back then, Ray Ray was obsessed with his research. He felt he could harness delusions to make the world a happier place. Every time he spoke of it, his eyes would light up with hope and wonderment. One day, he happened upon my establishment, and he'd brought a young lady along for the ride. Hey, 
Don't you think you've had enough? Enough schmanuff. I've earned it. Got one step closer to my dream today, and alcohol just brings me closer still. Best case I've ever heard for alcoholism. Besides, you've got a lot of people's hopes on your shoulders. Ah, come on. It's not that big of a deal. Besides, there's plenty of people way more valuable than me in there. Like Yuki, you mean? Oh, well, yeah. Kasuga's a pretty big deal. Lately, he's been acting kind of... strange. How so? He's just been really pissy about everything. <laughs> like what? Like a lot of things. Though I guess he does have a lot going on. You two both act like such children sometimes. I know you are, but what am I? Excellent rebuttal. But if you really are an adult, I want you to promise me one thing. Yeah? Promise me you'll act like one. One worthy of me. Hey, is something wrong? With Kasuga, you mean? No, silly, with you. You've been working yourself ragged lately. I have to. And why is that? What is so important that you need to work yourself to death over it? What are you trying to do? I'm taking on a new project, and then I'm sure I'll be able to... Something wrong? What do you think? You never come home at all anymore. I guess I don't. Is this new project of yours that important? Well, we just don't have a lot of time. We don't have enough time. Are you even listening? Uh-huh. Well, if you can answer me, then you're at least comprehending my words on some level. That's a start. <sighs> so, how's it going? Have you made much progress on the visualization device? It's not done, if that's what you're asking. But it's going well, isn't it? No. No, it's not. I don't think I can do it. I can't get it finished. Why not? I don't know. I, I don't know. I probably don't even want to know. After that, Rei Rei made himself scarce for a while. He left Akihabara and left the DAB. So that visualization device was... Being developed because he wanted to know. He wanted to know if Mari Tojo was real, or just his delusion. But he couldn't get it working. And that was more than he could stand. So he had no idea what was real and what was delusion. Which means it's entirely possible that his beloved doesn't exist. There's not a man or woman alive who could bear that. But he came back. With all the rumors of the delusion contractor and the DAB on the move, it became possible for him to see her again. So he returned, in the hopes of determining once and for all whether Mari Tojo was real or simply his delusion. That's the only thing keeping Rei Rei going these days. So when the Freedom Fighters disappeared right before his eyes... Exactly. Which is also why he acted so coldly towards you and your friends. Hold on. I think I'm missing a few links in this logic chain here. I think all of you hit him a little too close to home. You're all mirrors of his former self. He feared that you'd be overwhelmed by delusions, lose those close to you, and become obsessed like he did. And he desperately wishes not to see that happen to you. Think of it as his own unique brand of compassion. <laughs> He's never really been one for tact or social graces, exactly. I can tell. If I know Ray Ray, he's still searching for his answer, even now. He intends to find it all by himself, without dragging anyone else in with him. Too bad. I'm going after him. Do you think you can find him? I think I can try. No matter the reason, he's saved all our butts before. That's not delusion. That's fact. And what he's gone through seems like it's a lot worse than what we have. So I want to make sure he has help. Very well. If Saki and the others drop by, I'll let them know you're off to save the day. But please, give the search a little extra push for me. Not just for Ray Ray, but for the answer he seeks too. 
Don't worry. I will. Today's another beautiful day, isn't it? In weather like this, I just want to yell out to passers-by, Go to the beach or something, you dumbass! Oh yeah, this has happened before. Which means... I've been looking all over for you, young miss. <laughs> yep, right on cue. So this is where you've been hiding, eh? Come now, it's time to go home. Master Asahi, hit the bridge! Sorry, dude, but I'm with her. Later! W wait, please! Hold on. This spot should be fine. He won't come looking for you here. H how do you know that? I know everything. I know you're part of the Makishima family, too. What? But who exactly are the Makishimas, Nana? And what's their deal? You... you know everything? No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. I want to hear the full story straight from the horse's mouth. I... I see. Will you tell me? Will you promise, promise never to breathe a word of this to anyone? Yeah, you have my word. Okay, my real last name is Makishima. Nana Nanao is the alias I use when I'm working at the maid cafe. And the Makishima family is? On the surface, we run a karate dojo. But that's just a front. Because we're actually a Yakuza family. Yakuza? So that's why those DVD pirates got so skittish when I mentioned the name Makishima. So if you're a Makishima yourself, that means... Yep. I'm the daughter of a crime boss. The pieces are all falling into place now. All I ever wanted was to be normal. So I left home and started working at the maid cafe. Which means you're... A runaway, yes. I've never once been back home since. And the guy who's come to take you back is... Allow me to field that one. I'm the underboss of the Makishima clan. Nana! Huh, would you look at that. He found us after all. She's it, Master Asahi! Young miss, are you gonna continue running like this? I'm... If you persist in evading us, you do realize your father will remain forever alone in his suffering. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a father. Please, your father's been in the hospital for quite some time now. A visit from you would mean the world to him. Wh what are you talking about? I see. So he hasn't contacted you then. There's much infighting among the heads of the clan, as each is vying for the seat your father left when he fell ill. Oh boy, a mafia power struggle. Goody. I beg of you. Visit your father. Accept his wish for you to succeed him as the head of the clan. <sighs> Young miss, I'm on my knees. Metaphorically. Where is this power struggle occurring exactly? Where? Well, it's... In Akihabara? Yes, in Akihabara. You should have opened with that. I'll put an end to this dispute. So you'll take the mantle from your father then? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I only said I'd put an end to the infighting, and that's all I plan to do. 
Where in Akihabara is everything going down? In the station plaza. That's all I need to know. Master Asahi, thank you for everything. Nana? This wonderful town of Akihabara allowed me to meet you. And you and I have had some really great conversations. I'm so happy that you accepted me. As Nana Nanao. But now, I go off to meet my destiny. Wait just a minute, Nana. You can't just up and leave me like this. Take me with you. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I mean to quote a tired aphorism, I'll do my best. Master Asahi! Come on, Nana. Let's kick some ass. Roger that. The hell, guy? You looking for a fight? It's the Tsuchidas that'll be taking over the Makishima family. You head on too tight, buddy? The Iwama faction's gonna be running things, so don't quit your day job. Say that to my face, why don't you? Not good. Looks like things are about to blow. I'll take care of this. You Tsuchidas better back the hell off. Or do us a favor and burn your own houses to the ground. Save us the work. It's you Iwamas who need to step off. You're a disgrace to the Makishima name. We'll crush all you bastards in one go! Not on my watch, you won't! Holy... That voice, is that... The young miss? Why the hell is she here? Why? That's a silly question. Because I'm the maid of love and peace. Nana Nanao, that's why. The young miss? Nana Nanao? That's right. Nana Nanao, maid extraordinaire. And I've come to protect Akihabara. Coming into my house and fighting like you own the place? That I cannot abide. But, young miss... What did I just say? I'm not the young miss. You will address me properly. <laughs> Honestly, do you freaking losers have no shame at all? Holding your damn pissing contest in a busy station plaza? N -n no, young miss. It's not like that. A damn guys are the ones who started. Where the hell is your honor? This is no place for mob warfare. Use your brains if you got any. <coughs> this is a town where people's dreams are made into realities. So don't you be bringing your baggage into this hood. Anyone got a problem with that? You step up now. Step up to the streets. <sighs> You morons have ten seconds to slink back into your hidey holes before I get all serious up in here. Uh, uh, humblest apologies, young miss. Uh, we'll, uh, rethink our lives a little. I think that just about did it. And that just about did it for my maid career, too, unfortunately. A whole lot of people saw this all go down. Oh, well, I don't think you really need to worry about that. Huh? Why not? Well... Maybe let me explain that one. It'll be quicker that way. Oh, Sharko. Hiya, folks. How you feeling? You two know each other? Oh, yeah. Sharko's been offensive to our family for years. I've been offense, not offensive. Not on purpose, anyway. But yeah, I just finished fixing up your dad, if you care. Seriously? He poured some serious cash into the development of a miracle cure. Wasn't easy, but it sure did the trick. D damn But that ain't why I'm here. I got a message from the old man. Come with me. You too, neat freak. Come with you where? To the Might Club on Main Street.
Here we are. This is the Mike Club? Charco, don't tell me you... You betcha. With all the ducats I made from your dad, I was able to buy this place up. Hook, line, and sinker. I'll show you in. So, what exactly is this place? The Mike Club. Yep, an underground fighting arena. What? I know, sad to see it closed. But don't you worry. The young miss is gonna take it over. Those are her dad's wishes. He's saying that if you ever want to quit the maid business, he wants you to be in charge down here. That's actually not what I meant by my exclamation of, what? Here and here alone, you can fight outside the public eye. Just don't tell anyone about it. That's the first rule. You realize, though, that I don't actually want to fight. Evil Kanito here can use it freely, too, if he wants. Of course, he's got to pay the entry fee. Um, I'm good, thanks. No need to hold back. There's rewards for your troubles, you know. So, both of you, enjoy. Uh, Nana's not going to remember any of this come tomorrow. You are aware of that, aren't you? No sweat. There'll be another clerk here by then who'll let you in any time you want. Just say the word. Thanks, but this really is a hard no for me. Oh, I don't want to go back to being a maid. This kind of place isn't for me. Father's a freaking idiot. a new delusion? That's just like him. No entrance yet, though. You? Oh, you were the boy who was with Reiji, were you not? Asahi. Asahi Tachibana. I'll be sure to remember that. Asahi Tachibana, I ask you, what does this look like to you? This? It looks like a delusion that's begun encroaching upon the town to me. So it's not real, then? No, it's a delusion. That much I can say for sure. But when a delusion materializes in the world of reality, does that not make it real? Is this a trick question? This delusion is now part of this reality. That is incontrovertible. But just think what good we could do if we were to learn to harness and control delusions like this one. But that's... At every drastic change in world history, there has been a delusion present. Well, sure, probably, but... But, the heart of man is weak, and inconvenient realities are easy to shun. Just tell me what you're trying to say here. If only he had companions like your little group back then. What was wrong with the ones he had? Reiji suffered in silence, telling no one his plight. Unable to accept delusions, he averted his gaze from reality. Since then, he's been caught in the gap between fiction and non cursed to live in fear of existence itself forevermore until today that is until today what are you planning on doing to him are you blind have you really not noticed this delusion is Reiji's. what it appears the data gathering has been successfully completed 
A digital delusion proved too interesting to ignore. Fortunately, the range of his delusion's damage is very small. So we plan on using this opportunity to deal with him. You're going to nullify his delusion then? For his own good, yes. How do you know what's for Reiji's own good? That that's what he'd want? Destroying this delusion and everything that comes with it would free him of his fear. Of course he'd want that. You're just putting words into his mouth. As the director of the DAV, I'm prepared to take responsibility for my actions. And I'm prepared to take responsibility for mine. I won't let you destroy Reiji's delusion. Is that what he would want? You dirty little... If he sinks to the depths of despair, you'd best be prepared to drown down there with him. Huh? Ugh. Now's not the time to stand here staring like an idiot. I have to find Reiji and fast. Well, well, well. If it isn't Asahi. Hazuki? Where's the fire? You look like you're on the hunt for someone. Um, well? I see. So he's off on his own then. Knowing Reiji, he plans on trying to finish this all by himself. And if I can't find him, I can't stop him. Well, two heads are better than one. Perhaps the search would go smoother with someone else helping you out. You mean... you? Time out. Aren't you supposed to be resting? In a hospital or otherwise? Oh, no, I'm not talking about me. You already have a partner in crime. His name's Mizuki, remember? Uh, but Mizuki isn't here. That's true. He's probably off sulking by himself somewhere. I would be too. So why don't you go to him? Sorry? I'm certain he must be waiting for you. You really think so? Well, of course. He's not so childish that he won't be able to get back up after reality bops him on the nose. Happens to all of us. But he is a stubborn fool, like he's always been. And he never tells you what he's actually feeling. So even though he hasn't said it, I'm absolutely certain he's waiting for you, Asahi. I ask you, please go see him. But what do I say to him? I think you know. Huh? You'll figure it out when you get there, at least. You two have always been in sync that way. Always laughing and smiling together, and fighting, and growing up together as dear, dear friends. So I have every confidence that when you see him, you'll know what to say. You're really the only person who can reach him, I think. Huh. Have you remembered? Good. Then you know just as well as I do that you need to go see him. Get out of here and do it! Y yes, ma'am! That's a good boy. Very Asahi of you, even. Good luck, and Godspeed. I swear, what will it take to pull that boy away from his big sister?
Hey, what you doing? Huh? You. Yeah, you. Me? Me? That's, That's what, what I you said. said. You by, by yourself? yourself? Yeah. Then let's play together. Huh? Being by yourself is boring. Who are you? Asahi Tachibana. Asahi, like, like the morning sun. Shining down on all the flowers standing tall, Tachibana. I'm Mizuki Aihara. Mizuki, huh? Well, you're gonna be my friend from now on. Huh? Why? It's in our names. Mine's got sun in it, and yours... Well, Mizuki has the moon, right? <laughs> We're destined to always chase after each other and never quite catch up. Ah... Asahi? Hmm? You know my name isn't actually written with the kanji for moon, right? Yeah, I know. Thanks anyway, though. Look, Mizuki. I get it. I do. The Akihabara freedom fighters were my own creations. Part of my delusion. And now they no longer exist. 
Not in this world, at least. Mizuki. But I've been thinking. Trying to figure out why my delusion created the Akihabara Freedom Fighters, of all things. What brought Boss, Akari, and Aoi to me? Or... No, I guess I haven't been thinking about it. I... can't. I've just been pretending to think about it. Maybe I knew they weren't real from the beginning and just couldn't accept it. Because if I did, then I'd have also been forced to accept that I'll never be able to best you, Asahi. To... best me? I've been wanting to beat you at your own game for a long time now. You've totally lost me. As far as I can tell, you've never not bested me. You've bested me in studies, extracurricular activities, and pretty much everything else since we were kids. Always. And I've always been proud of you for it. Proud to call you my best friend. See? That's what I mean. What's what you mean? You can just say how you feel, no problem, without being embarrassed or self-conscious about it. That's where you've always beaten me, at least in my mind. I've always been jealous of that. I mean, you said it yourself, right? Like the sun and the moon, we're destined to always chase after one another. And that's what I've been doing all this time, running toward the rising sun, the Asahi that brightens my mornings. So when you went off to destroy delusions, I did the same. And I was going to destroy them before you. I wanted to beat you. To stop losing to you. And the Freedom Fighters were born out of those feelings. But even with such a potent weapon at my disposal, in the end, I still couldn't do it. I wasn't chasing after you. I was running. Trying in vain to outrun the sun as it rose behind me. So consider this my concession. You win. I won't stand in your way any longer, Asahi. Nuh-uh. Not gonna happen. The sun and the moon never stop chasing after one another. It's an eternal cycle. But don't you see? It's over now. I'll never catch up to you, Asahi. So it's over. So that's your way out? Something like that? Let's see you try. Come on, let's see if you can really get away from me. What are you saying? I'm saying you're coming with me. I'm just going to keep chasing you, right? So just try and get away from me. Just you try it. This isn't over. I won't let it end. Because I need you. So come with me. That's not fair. But you are coming with me, right? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. So, there's a new delusion in town, then. One of the many reasons I needed you, Mizuki. Speaking of, where are your friends? After yesterday, I don't have the heart to reach out to them yet. I'm not sure if that's kind of you, or you're just leaving them in the lurch. But if I'm understanding the situation correctly, we need to find Reiji before the Bureau does, correct? What then, though? Will you protect Reiji's delusion? I haven't quite thought that far ahead. Reiji is searching for an answer. The only way he's gonna find it is by destroying his delusion. Still... Still what? That just doesn't ring true to me. It feels like there's no point to his delusion getting destroyed right now. Well, maybe... I can handle it on my own. You don't touch it. Why not? Because you'll hesitate. And if you stop to regret things, you're gonna miss your moment. Yeah. Let's put an end to this. Huh? Junk Street. Come on. Mitsuki, wait up!
What's up, Mizuki? Got crane game fever for some reason? Seeing this just gave me some hangs of nostalgia, that's all. But we never played many of these growing up, did we? Back when I was with Boss, Akari, and Aoi, we used to hang out in arcades together sometimes. Not that we called it hanging out, of course. It was a public safety patrol or something, according to Boss. Huh. Actually, now that I think of it, there was this one stuffed toy in one of these that the twins really wanted. Doesn't seem like it's in this arcade, though. Not that it would really matter if it were, either way. Well, what say we go look for it? Huh? I mean, you never know. It might still be there, right? Thanks, Asahi. Perfect. We'll begin our quest at Crane Quest on Junk Street. Gotta have one here, right? This place is really nostalgic, too. Oh, you've been here? Yeah, back when we were on patrol. You insolent fleshy! You dare to resist the stoic, scowling freedom fighter Akari! Sis, you're neither stoic nor scowling, but you have used up the vast majority of our monthly allowance. I can't give up now, Aoi. I refuse to give in until that sweet, sweet prize is mine and my struggle is at an end! I'm not sure the massive line behind you supports that idea. We practically had to drag Akari out of here to get to the next place on our beat. She really didn't want to leave. <laughs> That's kind of a cute memory. Oh, it got worse. When Akari couldn't get the thing, Boss got a little overly excited about getting it for her. Huh. You just leave this little varmint to good old Boss and head on out, Akari. Boss! You're so cool! Get it! Get it! This plush don't stand a chance against me. Bring it on, punk! Uh, Boss? <laughs> Boss always did seem like he was a big softie around Akari and Aoi. Yeah, that was his nature. Looks like the plushie is still out of our reach, though. I'm not entirely convinced we'll even be able to find one. Maybe we should take a gander at some secondhand shops. They've usually got crane machine prizes for sale. Hmm, maybe. Though to be honest, I was kind of hoping to catch one myself. <laughs> Guess you're kind of a softie, too. All right. Let's go find ourselves another arcade. Thanks, man. To the Gossin on Main Street. They've got tons of crane machines in there. See your plushie? I do. They've actually got it. Really? Which one? There's only the one left, but it's in that machine over there. The Mulberry Blobfish. Why the hell would Akari want something that looks like this? Why would anyone? All right, let's do this. Hey, wait up! I can't believe I actually got it. Nice. So, uh... How much did you end up spending on this? Uh, about 10, 500 yen coins? Well, it could be worse, right? Guess I got just as hooked on these crane games as they did. Huh? It's gone? No! What's with her? Excuse me, do you work here? As a matter of fact, I do. What seems to be the problem? 
there was a plushie in that machine over there earlier. A mulberry blobfish. Please, please tell me you have another. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to say that was our very last one. Oh, no. My little sister really wanted one. Like, really wanted one. God, it's bought license plates all over again. I've got this. Mizuki? You say your little sister is still in elementary school? Not only that, but today is her birthday. She's turning eight today, and I still don't have a... Sorry to interrupt, but... Y yes? Here, you can have this. Is... is this the blobfish? You said your little sister really wants one, didn't you? So please, take it. Are you sure you don't mind? If it makes her happy, I don't mind at all. And wish her a happy birthday for me, too. Thank you so much! After all that work and all that yen, you just gave it to her? Yeah, I did. After all... After all... what? That's what Akari and the others would have done.